Mike here. I uh, wanted to do a quick video of the Tarot 680 Pro or Tarot 680 Pro uh, build I'm, I'm doing. Um, just kind of a little quick review on where I've gotten so far. Um, it's a nice little frame here, but we have some problems. Uh, these instructions are pretty useless. Um, this is my first build, and while it, you can figure it out, it would be nice to have some better instructions to so you don't have to guess and try to do things twice. Um, you know, one of the big things was that uh, my this kit does not have this little part in here they changed the design so the instructions don't actually match what hardware is in the in the box um, some of the screws are not are, are different um, I can't find them to match up and uh, just typical Chinese uh, you know instructions they're just not very clear uh, what goes where but I did get it together um, well up to the point where I'm, I'm at now the uh, I, I followed their instructions and their instructions uh, tell you to put this power distribution board which is one of the reasons I bought this uh, frame on the top and what that does is that puts the pads where the ESC wires come out on the bottom of the top board meaning they're in the middle um, this is great but it means you need to take it apart in order to get to it if you need to get to it um, the two halves you need about 16 hands to put them together uh, it's just it's very awkward uh, there's a lot of the screws from the top the screws from the bottom um, I decided I didn't like that after getting it all together and ended up flipping them now uh, I should probably go back a little bit here the um, one of the first things I did was uh, these are the uh, morning no uh, elite I can't remember the name I can't read it something star elite uh, 4006 740 kV motors um, I really wanted a clean install uh, I didn't want wires hanging out a lot of these uh, installs you see online they got wires everywhere and uh, really kind of like a, a, a clean install um, so it probably took me about four days to finally figure out the configuration that I wanted um, to get this together uh, I ended up putting these 40 amp ESC's in the bottom uh, a lot of a lot of places say they don't fit they don't uh, I had to modify them quite a bit um, they come with bullet connectors on the end I took I unsoldered those and ended up soldering the, the motor wires right to it I also 3D printed these these covers, which you can find on Thingiverse, um, that do two things. They protect the wires there. They keep them neat. They also hold hold the uh, the ESCs in. Um, it worked quite well, actually. I, I really like it. In any case, going back to the PDB, um, I ended up f flipping it. Um, uh, to me, it made it a lot neater installation. <coughs> Uh, I, I ended up soldering bullet connectors to the pads. I'm not sure this is going to work in the long run. Um, I really wanted access to it uh, and be able to disconnect uh, the ESCs if I need to, uh, you know, pull a motor out without having to take the whole thing apart. Um, and this allows me to do it. It gives me access. There's going to be a, a, a the the two frame rails, uh, the rails there, your mount that you can mount your gimbal to, they're going to be there as well as the the, the battery uh, mount plate, which is right here. So this will be sitting here anyway, kind of protecting that area anyway. Um, so uh, to me, this goes together a lot easier. There's one caveat though. The way these mount, um, all the holes on the PD board, the PC board, um, are relieved with uh, the copper. So in other words, the screw 
doesn't come anywhere near the copper. The copper stops um, pretty far out uh, and gives it a little bit of room. Um, the holes for these are there, but they're not reliefed. It's probably very unlikely that you would have to wear through the solder mask and through the um, anodizing of these aluminum. Anodize, uh, anodizing is uh, not conductive, so you'd actually have to wear through both of those. And then there is a possibility that the screw on the top and the, and the, and the, the mount on the bottom would short the board together. And that would be bad because it's a direct short across your battery. So I don't know if you can see it, but I added some uh, uh, nylon washers to those screws just to keep the screw uh, from touching the copper. So even if this wears through, which is highly unlikely, but even if it does, it's not going to short out. Um, I think this configuration is a lot cleaner. Um, I'm going to go with the, the Pixhawk. I'll be mounting that there. Uh, all my ESC wires are right here. Um, I think that's about it. That's where I'm at right now. I'm waiting on the, the flight management system. And uh, we'll continue. Thanks.